Yeah, it's one of those kind of videos. Now look, before we get into the rumors and reports that are heading on out there, I want to remind you we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED. Uh, to enter is really, really simple. Just be subscribed. We are going to have a live stream in the first week of October uh, to announce the winner. So you're going to want to be there live. We will have uh, that stream set up for you here in the next few days so people can go set their notifications and we'll start putting links in our videos. But for now, you just got to subscribe to the channel. So we're almost to September, right? We're like a day or two away. And... Uh, I, I've been saying for a couple weeks now, you know, maybe a few weeks, ever since we got our first real uh, direct rumor, I don't know, about a month ago, that we're getting a direct this upcoming month in September. Uh, Nintendo's basically done one every single year since directs have come into existence outside of last year. And even then, we had a Nintendo Direct, technically. Uh, that was the first time we had our, what they called the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, and then they later dropped the Direct branding. Uh, but that was, we got a Partner Showcase. We also had uh, the Mario Anniversary stuff happen at this point last year. So while we didn't get a traditional Direct, because we didn't really get a traditional Direct at all in 2020, Nintendo still dropped good news uh, in September. So it's very highly likely that we're going to get one. And if you look at the timing of the last four September Directs, Two of them were in the first, like, literal few days of the month, I think, but like all the way up to the 4th. And then the other two uh, happened exactly on September 13th. Now, the previous two, the most recent ones in September, actually happened, I think, like on the 3rd and the 4th. So there's already expectations, or there should be expectations, logically, that we are about to get a Nintendo Direct. But... It's not going to stop us from reporting on what some of the insiders who have had some correct information in the past are saying. And we've got three different insiders uh, talking here, but I wanted to bring up the history of September Directs. Also, the last two September Directs we had contained Nintendo Switch Online updates, and that's going to be relevant here in a moment. So... First, let's get into uh, Nate Drake, a.k.a. Nate Drake is, is his username over on uh, Reset Era, but he's also known as Nate the Hate. I know some people are kind of wishy-washy with him after some of his Switch Pro stuff because he was wrong on some Switch Pro stuff, but also right on some of the Switch OLED things. So, you know, it, it is neither here nor there, but he has a fairly decent track record with Nintendo stuff. And he did a recent podcast that he does you know, almost sporadically. It, it tried to be every week for a while, but... He just fits it in his schedule when he can. And on that podcast, he discussed possibilities for what the next update to Nintendo Switch Online is. And essentially, this is what we got out of his, uh, his podcast. Um, it, he brought up the fact that there was a data mine a long time ago. We're talking a year or two ago of Nintendo's uh, online infrastructure and servers, and it showed some emulators that exist that weren't currently being used, but were actually usable in the hacking community on Nintendo Switch. And those emulators were for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, which really suggests that Nintendo's been obviously working on Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games for Nintendo Switch Online. So this is just something to keep in the back of our minds as we potentially expect a major Nintendo Switch Online announcement. Now, N64 is obviously something we have gravitated to if you follow the trend of NES, SNES, it really feels like uh, N64 would be next, but we'll have to wait and see on that front. Uh, for now, though, we do know these emulators do exist in Nintendo Switch's back end, so it is something to just kind of keep back there. Of course, we also know there's N64 emulators because we do know that Mario 64 was running on an emulator. So, well, I, it, it's kind of like one of those, we're getting probably something for Nintendo Switch Online, we just don't know what, and obviously the releases for, for NES and SNES have massively slowed down and been a bit unimpressive the last handful of times they brought some stuff out, uh, which is really weird since there's a lot of really big games still not on the Nintendo Entertainment System app and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System app that were actually on prior virtual consoles, but it's neither here nor there. Maybe licensing agreements have gone away or you know, whatever. I have no idea. But um, what's also interesting here is that that uh, Nate the Hate, a.k.a. Nate Drake, did suggest on the Reset Era forums that he actually does know a general idea of when this Direct is happening, but that's all he's giving. He's not really even giving us specific days or anything. I think he's trying to avoid uh, locking in dates like maybe he's done in the past uh, because obviously dates are always subject to change. Nintendo could literally plan a Direct for tomorrow and then could it, like, oh man, we got a last minute delay and edit a trailer or we have a new edition or, or a developer wants to drop out or something. So that's just something to keep in the back of our minds when it comes to talking about Nintendo Directs. Now, uh, another insider who... 
a lot of people have dismissed, um, and I understand why, Zippo. You guys have probably heard me talk about him on the channel before, and if anything else, he really needs a tinfoil hat. Um, but he got a lot of stuff wrong at E3, and I feel like that has made people really, really doubt his credibility. Uh, but I, also, he's actually got a lot of stuff right in the past, and he's gotten some stuff right since, in, in particular in regards to Sonic. So uh, he might have some contacts, or he might not. I'm not really sure which way to go on this one. Like all insiders, um, this is why we tinfoil hat pretty much every rumor video at this point. Uh, because, hey, it's uh, this stuff is non-verifiable. I can't verify any of it. All I can do is look at track records and go, yeah, sometimes he's right. So um, here is the big thing. Zippo, I'm, he doesn't know anything that's in the direct. He said, point blank, I know nothing about what's in the direct. But he made an update to a post he made back on August 23rd, and he updated it today, and that update is Nintendo Direct is imminent! Yeah, he's saying a Nintendo Direct is going to happen this week. Now, obviously, logically, Nintendo usually announces major directs the night or day or morning before they're going to happen. They have had surprise directs at times. So, traditionally, they happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but they have also had ones on Wednesdays. So, the earliest, you know, if it's going to be a September direct, would obviously be Wednesday, because tomorrow is the 31st. Uh, but, it's obviously more likely to be you know, this upcoming Thursday, based on the history of when Nintendo Directs come out, and they would announce it on Wednesday. It is what it is. We're just kind of waiting at this point. Uh, history tells us September 13th is no later than that, uh, but that's history. That doesn't mean that Nintendo's always going to follow that. They beat to the beat of their own drum. But Zippo is out here saying, planting this flag, it's happening this week. That's what his sources are apparently saying. Beyond all that, I wanted to talk about something that Samus Hunter said. So we haven't talked much about Samus Hunter since E3, just a couple things here and there. But she continues to be right on numerous things that to me just aren't um, that big a deal to me personally. But obviously, hey, can't ignore it. She was wrong on a couple things at E3. Notably, she was not one of the Switch Pro rumor people. Uh, so we can't really dismiss her for that stuff. There was just a couple things during E3 that she was obviously off about, including the Pokemon Presents, which ended up happening a couple of months later. It's kind of weird. Maybe it was going to happen before E3, but got delayed for unknown reasons. I have no idea. But here's what she said. Uh, so Mitsuda, the uh, he is... so. For those who don't know who Mitsuda is, uh, he has traditionally, at least more recently, been the composer and director of music for the Xenoblade Chronicle games at Monolith Soft. And he put up a tweet himself uh, showing a recording session that he's currently in. But he didn't really say what the recording session is for. He just showed a picture of the orchestra and all that. And, I mean, Mitsuda's done this a number of times and it's led to a lot of speculation. But uh, Samus Hunter, you know, quote tweeted uh, that and basically said... Yeah, this is for Xenoblade, and this is the final recording session for Xenoblade. And we all know about the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 rumors that have been percolating from really legit places, like Imran Khan over at Fanbyte. Uh, obviously, I, you know, he, he's really been dead on with a lot of his reporting over the years and there's been other various people we know the voice actress might have accidentally uh ended up <laughs> being the first person to tell us that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is in development uh but it sounds like based on Imran Khan's reporting but from before that this game is almost done and then you have Samus Hunter latching on being like hey look I don't you know before she said I don't, I don't really know much about what Imran Khan is saying but she does know that this is the final recording session for the game so that does suggest the game is essentially in its final stages and does support a notion I have of a pop Possible surprise, you know, reveal at this direct and releasing this December. I again, it could be 2022, and the general census for this direct is essentially that they're going to just show off the rest of the lineup for this year, and then you know the early stuff for 2022. Uh, I don't think Pokemon Legends Arceus will make that cut, although it's possible it might make an appearance. I think Pokemon is going to continue to advertise it on its own, and we can more look forward to things like what's happening over at I don't know. Um, the rest of their lineup. Like, what's dropping in March? Is it Splatoon 3? I have no idea. We can speculate all day. Obviously, we should get the final Smash character reveal, of course. Uh, we talked about this all on our last podcast. I'll put a link down to that podcast as well if you would like to check that out. But that's what I got for you today. Anyways, I know it's a late night video and not exactly how I plan to do things today. Uh, but, you know, my college uh, restarted up today and then one of my children started school today, but I had to bring them to school and pick them up because the buses aren't running yet. The buses run tomorrow when all three of the children start school. So it's been kind of a hectic day. Plus, I've been on the phone with Samsung customer support. I don't know what the hell is going on. 
trying to get a refund on some monitor that I, it's, it's just been a big hassle, but uh, that's just <laughs> everyday life, right? We all have our little stresses and things that we deal with, whether it's from parenting, jobs, school, etc., friends, uh, drama, all that stuff. So not going to dive too much deeper than that. I just had to had to know it's been a bit of a weird day, hence the video coming so late. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.